Lady Kimmy is one of my favorite champs in this game. I think she's a solid top three or for me. Uh, Void Lego or not, she is she is fantastic and was so not on my radar. I, I I had not paid any attention to her at all. We pulled her on the free to play. I gave her a look. I built her up, and uh, and the only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. She is such a useful champ. She's very interesting, very unique. She's a lot going for, her, and uh, I want to do a guide on her. Typically, I do my guides on my main account where I can have kind of some top end gear. Um, kind of have more at my disposal, maybe a few different builds to showcase. Uh, I just feel like I have more at my disposal on my main account. I don't have her on my main account. I have her on the free-to-play, but I think I'm getting enough out of her here uh, to justify showing her off at multiple stages of the game. So we're going to talk about what she does, how she's built, what what masteries I've got on her and why, uh, and then as, as I usually do, I'll show you footage of her in all the different places uh, that I get something out of her. Um, she is on just about every team, every meaningful team that I'm running in the game. I don't use her in clan boss because a lot of her kit is wasted in clan boss. Uh, but I use her in uh, almost everything I do in Doom Tower. I use her in most of the dungeons. I use her uh, when Faction Wars comes out. She's going to be crucial for Faction Wars. Um, so this is this is my guide for her on my free to play account. The nice thing about doing a guide on my free to play account is uh, that there that. It's free to play, right? I haven't bought any of this gear. I am a content creator, but this is not the account that I get my perks on. So this account is completely free to play. Everything in this account I've gotten lucky from with shards, or I've won from events, or I've farmed, or it's it's all natural. So this should be very obtainable, and for anybody that's doing any spending, you should probably be able to surpass this build pretty easily. Uh, I put her on Relentless because I like it. I like the turn cycling. And I don't have a ton of speed on her. She's reasonably fast, um, but I, there, are, there are a lot of people that are running her with speeds like they've run their Arbiters, you know, 350 plus, uh, 330 plus. Uh, I, don't, I don't have that, and I do like Relentless. I like her to turn cycle. I like her to get back around to her skills. She's got really high book value, too. We're going to get in and talk about that in a minute. Uh, she's a support champ. Her base stats are solid all the way down. She's over 1,000 on attack and defense, over 1,100 even on defense, over 20,000 on HP, 115 base speed among the highest base speeds in the game. That's really, really nice. Uh, I can't think off the top of my head who's higher, but I think there's one or two that are higher at least. Um, so you can go a few different ways. I kind of went, I tried to focus a little bit of defense on her, uh, I, I wanted to shoot her HP up a good bit because there are going to be some instances where ignore defense is happening and I want her to still be able to take the hit. Um, again, you do want her fast. You want you want to build her uh, almost like a, almost like an apothecary that needs accuracy. That's a good way to look at this. Uh, just, just super fast, as tanky as you can get her. And then she's also going to need some accuracy because everything she does is is turn meters and debuffs and um, she's nasty. We're going we're gonna to get to that. So the stats I would say to focus on her are speed, HP slash defense, and accuracy. And then depending on what else you're doing, perhaps if you're trying to run her in a hard Doom Tower in the later stages, maybe you want some resistance. Uh, you know, there's other ways you could go. I haven't played around with what kind of damage output she has. Honestly, I get so much out of her from the way that she's built. Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not concerned <laughs> with her damage output. So let's talk about her skills real quick. A1, attacks one enemy, then attacks the enemy with the highest turn meter. Will attack the same enemy twice if the initial target also has the highest turn meter. Then uh, uh, the second hit has a 50% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 15%. So for certain situations like Fire Knight, this will be a two hitter. She's got a two hitter A1 with turn meter knockback. Um, and then it's it's also nice when it kind of gets spread around in waves. Uh, she's also very useful in arena. Uh, it's a it's a pretty cool little skill, right? Pretty interesting. Her A2 is an AOE. She has a with with books. She has a hundred percent chance of placing a decreased accuracy and a decreased speed. Uh, also, a hundred percent chance of knocking the turn meter back by another fifteen percent. Now, this is killer. We've we've learned uh, over the last few months, last several months, how valuable decreased accuracy can be. It can be really useful in arena. It's really nice for spider. Uh, when you're trying to survive those spiderlings and, and, and try not to have poisons get stacked. If you stack a little bit of resistance on your team and throw up a decreased accuracy on all the spiderlings, you're going to be in much better shape. I do use her in my spider team, and you'll see that later in the video. You'll see how, how she contributes to that. Uh, it's huge. Her book value, again, here is is 
through the roof, right? You only get two ticks for the damage, which again, I'm not concerned with, but then you get her debuff uh, and and skill effect chances up to 100% and a cooldown. I can tell you, I, I've got books in her like two weeks ago. I finished booking her completely. Getting the cooldown on this is, again, just disgusting. It is so nasty to have this come around every three turns, especially when she's on Relentless, right? She's just constantly throwing this out. Knock and turn meter back. Uh, decrease accuracy if you we'll, we'll talk about some some synergies that she has um <clears throat> when we finish talking about her skills her a3 removes one random buff from each enemy then has a 75 percent chance of placing a block buffs for two turns on enemies who have buffs removed also fills the turn meters of all allies by 15 percent and places an accuracy buff and a speed buff on all allies for two turns again book value here there's not a wasted book in this skill uh, you get her. You get her debuff chances up to 100%, and you get two turns knocked off the cooldown. So from six turns to four turns, nasty. It's nasty. It's it's turn meter boost. It's buffs. It's speed buffs. It's strip. It's block buffs. This skill is loaded uh, with things that are that are harmful to enemies and positive for the team. It's really really good. And getting it down to four turns is huge. She is worth every single book you want to put in her. She's worth every single resource you want to put in her. She's fantastic. She is the lockdown queen. Uh, again, we're going to talk about some synergies here in a second. She's got a passive as well. Whenever this champion places a debuff on an enemy, which she's got decreased accuracy, decreased speed, AoE, she's going to land it. You know what I mean? She's going to land something if you've got any amount of accuracy on her. And then here we've got block buffs. So... Basically, very regularly, whenever she places a debuff, also decreases the enemy's turn meter by 5% for each debuff placed. So here there's potential for 10%, here there's potential for 5 Whenever this champion or an ally receives a debuff, fills their turn meter for 5% uh, by 5% by for each debuff received. So again, just, just turn cycle queen and uh, assisted lockdown queen, right? She doesn't actually have crowd control in the sense that she puts crowd control effects on but her turn meter manipulation her slows uh, her strips like all of these things contribute very heavily to being paired well with crowd control and that's what we're about to talk about now one thing i keep doing with her uh, i'm getting better about it i have convinced myself that she has a 24 percent all battle speed lead so i keep putting her in the lead <laughs> in places where it's not doing me any good 30 percent speed lead in doom tower battles though is huge that's a huge speed boost uh and and can really alleviate uh, the need for speed on your on your champs in Doom Tower. So definitely make sure you're you're utilizing it in Doom Tower. Uh, remember that it's not everywhere. What's funny is how many people have told me they thought that too. Uh, I'm I'm almost wondering if when she came out, if they had that for a second, if she was a 24% all battle speed lead, and they changed it, and I just missed it. But uh, either way, that's not what she is. It's only a Doom Tower lead. So uh, just a crazy kit. There's so much going on. It complements itself very well. It contributes to so many different situations overall, right? There's a lot of turn meter knockback. She's got a two-hitter A1 with turn meter knockback. That makes her useful for Fire Knight. She's got decreased speed, which is useful for Fire Knight. Uh, she's got buffs that help your team turn cycle around the Fire Knight. That's just one example of, of one specific place where she shines in so many different ways. Uh, but really, honestly, everywhere you take her, it's nasty. So some of the synergies, if you if you put her with any crowd control control champ, Syl is a great candidate for this because Syl is another champ that's just fantastic, and she's got a great um, she's got a great A two right with the, with the stun. She's fairly reliable with the stuns. If you run her with Lady Kimmy, it's just it's just worse, right? It, it gets so much worse. Everything Lady Kimmy is doing to the enemies gets so much worse to them because now they're being controlled, they're being slowed, they're having their turn meter knocked back, and, still, and and someone's locking them down as well. So taking the turns that they finally do get when Kimmy stops popping off, uh, <laughs> then they don't even get their turn, right? And then now they're slowed, and they've got to come up slower to try to get another turn before Seal gets back around to her stuns or whoever else you're running with, right? Uh, another good example of a great synergy is Rosin. Rosin is, a, is a fan, another fantastic champ across the board, and this bogged down skill with Kimmy's uh, slows and, and everything she's doing is insanity. Paired with Syl, it's even more disgusting because now Kimmy's doing everything she's doing. Syl's locking them down, and Rosin's resetting turn meter. So now they got to start the whole process over of just trying to get a turn, right? Uh, it's really, really, really bad. Another good one, um, this is a champ that I'm, I'm a fan of. I haven't done anything with her on this account, um, but I do have her on my... I have her built on my main account. 
if I can find her here, we'll just go into the index and show you. Uh, she's one of the login rewards, uh, Tanix. Where is she? Tanix. She's got this, um, what, where is it? She's got something. Yeah, attacks two times at random, heals all allies by 3% of this champion's HP with each hit on targets under decreased speed. So if you if you beef her HP up pretty high, this is pretty nice. It's a pretty nice heal on an A1. It's happening very regularly, right? Um, and then she's got an A2 that kind of complements herself, but Kimmy can set her up really well, right? Having having that reinforcement for her is really, really nice. Um, so so this, this allows her to be pretty good support. It gives her something to shine with. You, you kind of do have to synergize her with, with someone. How come I can't get out of the index? What's happening here? I was stuck in a... <laughs> I didn't even realize for a second I was stuck in that loop. Um, so I've got, you know, I've got Tormin and I've got Drex and I've got Iggy. And, you know, you know, Tormund paired with HP Burn can be really disgusting uh, crowd control as well. Paired with Lady Kimmy and Dim Tower, uh, it's just, it, it just gets out of hand, man. So, I mean, anybody, monster, anybody with any kind of crowd control is great. Seal's a great candidate because, one, she's fantastic everywhere. Two, she's free. Same with Rosin. Rosin's kind of tougher to fuse, but if you once you get Rosin, um, contributes very, very heavily. So, uh, Drex is also nice, right? Lock them down and put HP Burns on them. Let them kill themselves over time. Um... Let's talk about her masteries real quick, and then we'll start going around and talking about everywhere that, that she's getting used right now and, and where I think she's good. Uh, I just finished mastery grinding her tonight. I just got this mastery on her tonight. Um, I have this on her because, I, because of the way I use her in Doom Tower. I want her to be able to contribute some damage to the bosses too, right? Sometimes that can be the difference. Someone having that tier 6 mastery to help take chunks out as they get turns um, can, can be the difference in the sustain in your in your run, right? So... That's what I've done with her. Uh, over here, it's pretty standard, right? It's it's just the stuff that gives her accuracy. Lore of Steel, so she can get a little bit more accuracy from the accuracy set. And if I ever did rework her and put a speed set on her, she'd get a little bit of a bonus from that. Uh, I like the, the extra decreased turn meter on the A1 from this. She does more debuffs than buffs, so I, I decided Arcane Celerity was the way to go. Um, if you had enough accuracy on her and didn't want to bother with this, you could split here and do the buffs and the debuffs for turn meter boost when they expire or are removed just to help her turn cycle more. The more you can help Lady Kimmy turn cycle and get turns, the the more disgusting it's all going to be, right? The more she's taking turns, the worse it is because everything she's doing is slowing them down, right? All, everything she's doing essentially is just making the situation worse from them. It's slowing them down. It's making it harder for them to get a turn. It's taking buffs off of them. It's putting debuffs on them. Um, everything she's doing is bad. So the more turns she gets, the better. Uh, so anything that can help her turn cycle is great. And then uh, when I finish, I'll probably put... Uh, I don't even think she... I might put this on her. I don't think she needs this one. So I'll probably put this on her. I'll probably put Spirit Haste and Master Hexer on her. And that's what her tree would look like. If you didn't want to do that, obviously you could go with the accuracy one here for more accuracy, depending on where you want to use her. If you want to use her in Arena, for example, she's going to need a lot more accuracy, right? It start, you know, if people are running resistance, uh, you're going to want to try to go over the top. But as far as where I'm using her, and then we'll then we'll show her off in some runs uh, and dungeons. I so we were sitting at stage twenty the other day in the stream. I was like, I need. To, I, I was at the twenty five mission for Ice Golem, and I thought. Uh, I need to get to 25 and and try to get it cleared so I can do this mission. Same team. The same team. Again, Lady Kimmy's in the lead because I can't register that she's not a speed lead. Um, <laughs> but uh, she's she's part of this, and she's a huge reason that it's successful. She's, again, slowing them down. She's keeping the minions. She's helping keep the minions from getting turns. She's putting decreased accuracy on the minions. She's slowing them, not going to turn meter back. Uh, she's very helpful in the waves. Again, we've got Sil, Hill, Sil here to come in behind and, and reinforce crowd control with the stuns. And then Kimmy keeps him from getting turns. Um, huge, right? Huge. I, I ran this. They failed. I probably ran it like 30 times, and I think I was successful like 26 or 27 runs, right? So it's not it's not an all-the-way 100% team, but it's fairly reliable. And I think five and a half minutes for a free-to-play account Um with really one champ, I guess Kimmy, but there was, she was in a guaranteed event a while back, but like one, you know, OG OP champ, right? 
I think that's pretty decent. Uh, and 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 make no mistake about it, she is contributing very heavily to that. I'll show you runs uh, when we're done at this. She's in my spider team. I haven't tried to bump up in spider yet. Again, in the lead, because I made this team a long time ago, and I would have sworn she was in all the lead. But, but she's huge here, right? The decrease accuracy, the turn meter knockback. Uh, and even though it's an HP burn comp and she is knocking back turn meters, it's still effective, right? She's she, They're, they're still going to get their turns. Um, and this is a, a concern someone talked about a while back is that it seems odd to be running poisons or HP burns with her since her goal is to try to prevent from getting turns, but ultimately they're still going to get their turns anyway. What she's doing is allowing the team to take all the turns they need in between to build themselves back up and survive, right? Uh, when we get to my dragon team, for example, you'll see sometimes it gets to where it starts to look a little dicey, um, but she's boosting and helping us cycle so much that Sill's getting turns and we're getting heals, and by the time we take another hit, we're prepared to take the hit, right? Bad L's continuous heals have been able to proc and and all that. But um, so so it it might seem like it's a little counterintuitive, but I promise you, she's contributing very heavily to the success of this run, right? Because not she's also keeping the spider from taking a turn, um, and the spiderlings are going to get their turn anyway. That's just the way it's going to go. Uh, this is a very successful team. I don't think this team ever fails. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is a a a hundred percent team. I, I I don't recall. I haven't run it in a while. Um, but I don't, I don't think they fail. Uh, Dragon, it was the same situation as Ice Golem. We just ran our way all the way up to 25. It's a little bit slower. Uh, it's a very similar team. It's just Rosin instead of Sa uh, Stagnite. Uh, and Stagnite would probably honestly work here, but I wanted to get Rosin in the mix because the waves, I feel like the waves are a little bit tougher here. Um, but again, she, she helps us cycle so much that between Bad L and Sill, we get healed back up between every hit. Uh, if someone needs to be revived, they have time to get revived and catch a couple of heals before the dragon takes a turn again. So even though we can't slow the dragon and knock the turn meter back, she's still helping us run laps, right? She's still helping us run laps and get that healing back. I haven't tried her in Fire Knight. Uh, it's been a long time since I've run any Fire Knight. Uh, this is my Fire Knight team currently. If I'm not mistaken, I had her here. And when I got Deacon, I put Deacon in. Um, but I think she was here and we were running it semi-successfully it was a little bit tougher fire knight's a little bit tougher she's off affinity um i think i was having a little bit more trouble keeping her alive she's off affinity but it's different with sill sill's a little easier to keep alive um so i'm interested to see how she contributes as i work my way up in in the stages here but i mean you see i'm using her everywhere right uh we'll, we'll take a quick peek at doom tower uh this is a this is a full auto team there's no danger uh i don't use her in nether spider or magma dragon but i do use her in griffin um, I don't know why she wasn't lead. It's like I'm using her as lead everywhere that she's not <laughs> effective <laughs> in Doom Tower. She wasn't the lead of that team. I don't know what that's about. Either way, it was successful. Um, and it's huge. She's just so freaking good here. So, uh, now, uh, like we do, I'm gonna just, um, you know, play some music, play some runs if you want to see her in action. If not, you have all the information I think I have to give on her at this point. I don't know how much commentary I'll do over the runs, but I know that in the past you guys have liked to see uh, some of the stuff I've talked about in action. So a little bit of a longer guide, a little bit long-winded. She just does so much, man. There's so much to talk about with her. Uh, easy top three favorite champ for me. Uh, I'm excited for Shadow Con Faction Crypt to open up and see what kind of work we can put in with her uh, in there. And uh, other than that, that's it, man. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and say bye now. Uh, if you got some out of this, I would appreciate you liking the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And, uh, man, that's it. That's it. Appreciate y'all. Later.